Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to drive a bipolar stepper motor in a simple way. And I'll also show an electronic circuits to drive the same motor. To drive a DC motor, it is very simple. All you need is a power source and the motor itself. However, to drive a stepper motor, you need an electronic circuit. But there is a simple way of testing and driving a bipolar stepper motor. All you need is a transfer rod like this one to reduce the AC mains voltage to much smaller voltage like 12 volt or so and a bipolar capacitor like this. So only these two component I, I'll use to drive a stepper motor. And later I'll also show an electronic circuit and to drive a stepper motor you need a circuit called H bridge there are four electronic switches and two such bridges are needed to drive a bipolar stepper motor as you can see a stepper motor has two coils like one we can call coil A another one coil B so to drive these two coils we need two such H bridges so there are two ways we can use discrete components or an IC. So this I'll show you, show you an IC that is it's a very popular one. It is called L298. I'm going to use this one to drive a stepper motor. And for the pulse trains, input pulses, I'll use an Arduino board. A common bipolar stepper motor looks much like this. It has two coils, coil A and coil B. And its symbol is usually like this. I am not going to go into details how a motor spins. I'll just explain how to generate pulses to make the motor spin. The simplest way to drive a bipolar stepper motor is to use a low voltage AC source and a bipolar capacitor. One of the coils is connected directly to the AC source and other coil is connected to the source through a uh, bipolar capacitor. The capacitor creates a phase difference in between the coils. The blue one is the current going through the coil A and the red one uh, through coil B and there is a phase difference between these two. In the ideal case, the difference should be 90 degree, but even if the difference is not exactly 90 degree, the motor will spin. In each cycle, motor spins four steps. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. Each 90 degree means one step. Now the steps are animated. We can easily determine the rotational speed of a bipolar stepper motor. For instance, here, if we use our AC mains, the frequency is 60 Hz. So the time period is 16.66 millisecond. Four steps in one complete period. The time for each step is 4.166 millisecond. The motor I am using needs 200 steps for a complete revolution. One complete revolution takes 0.833 second. In one minute, the rotation should be 72, so the motor speed is 72 rpm. In this simple drive project, I use a stepper motor. The model number is shown here. A bipolar capacitor that is 470 microfarad and a low voltage AC source is generated, is obtained using a transformer 115 volt 60 hertz AC to 12 volt AC. The parts are shown here. Here is the stepper motor, the transformer and the bipolar capacitor. The complete circuit is shown here in this photo, the transformer, the capacitor and the motor. To reverse the direction of rotation, we can use a double pole double throw switch. 
this photo shows the circuit with the uh, double pole double throw switch as well. This is the stepper motor that I'm going to show how to drive. On the back, we can see the model number, manufacturer's name, and some other information like angle per step. And here, the two coil terminals, coil A and coil B, are shown. One coil of this motor is connected to the transformer and the other coil via a bipolar capacitor. A double pole double throw switch is used to change the direction of rotation clockwise or counterclockwise. This is the uh, switch. And here is the bipolar capacitor. Motor is switched on. The direction of rotation is changed by the switch. The same stepper motor can be driven by an electronic circuit. There are several advantages of using electronic circuit. Speed and direction of rotation can be controlled easily and the motion will be smoother. Each coil of the motor should be driven by a circuit called H-bridge. An H-bridge consists of four electronic switches either bipolar junction transistors or MOSFETs can be used. When switches 1 and 4 are closed, current flow in one direction through the coil and when the switches 3 and 2 are activated, current flow in the opposite direction. Though we are using DC source, however, the coil is experiencing AC now. To drive a bipolar stepper motor, we need two such H bridges, one H bridge for each coil. We can either use discrete component or an IC to drive a motor. One such popular IC which has two H bridges is L298. Motor driver circuit with IC L298 is shown in this schematic. The IC needs two voltages, plus 5 volt called the VSS and the motor driving voltage called VS ranging from 3 volt to 46 volt. There are four inputs to activate current flow through the coils in both directions. Sequence of appropriate pulses can drive the motor and the frequency controls the speed of rotation. There are some ports available using IC298, a plus 5 volt regulator, and some connectors. I used one of, uh, of these ports. An Arduino board is used to generate sequence of pulses to drive the motor. Uh, this is the circuit in action. And this circuit shows a potentiometer is also used to control the frequency of the pulses, which controls the speed of rotation of the motor. Connected motor is shown here. Uh, Arduino code is shown here. You can find the same code in Arduino website. For further smoother control of a stepper motor, people use micro-stepping and current control. In future, I hope to show micro-stepping and 
current control as well. The Arduino Mega Board is generating the pulses to drive the motor. The pulses are fed to the four inputs of L298 IC. Two coils of the motors are connected to the two terminals. I am using 12 volt for the motor driver. Uh, it should be mentioned that if we increase the rotational speed, we must increase the motor driver voltages. Otherwise, the motor will stall. Two oscilloscope probes are connected uh, to see the pulses on the two phases. I am now increasing the rotational speed and you can see on the screen the frequency is going up. <laughs> 